Okay. Geometry, Chapter 10, Section 5, Tangents. Everything we've been doing so far has been inside of the circle, and so now we're going to be looking at something that is on the outside of the circle. I have drawn a circle and a tangent line, and something that's tangent, and I know this is hard to see because they kind of run together. It'll be a little bit more clear in the book. A tangent will intersect the circle at one specific point. Okay, now if I took that intersection point and I drew it to the center, okay, the center of this circle, and I'm hoping that's pretty good there, yeah. If I drew it to this, the center, and that's actually a diameter, and this will always be 90 degrees. Okay, so the radius or the diameter, just depending on which one is drawn there to the point of tangency will always be a 90 degree angle. So you're going to see here in just a minute we're going to get a lot of problems that have to do with right triangles and creating right triangles and then just finding some some missing lengths. So let's move into an example. Okay, example number one. Go ahead and take just a second to uh, sketch that. Go ahead and hit pause, sketch it, and come right back to me. All right, now we're back. The question is going to be, is BC tangent to circle A? Okay, is BC tangent to circle A? If that is true, then this would have to be a right angle. To prove it, that would make that a right triangle, so a squared plus b squared equals c squared would have to be true. So let's see if that's the case. So we're going to let a equal 8, b equal 9, and c equal 15. So that's going to give me 64 plus... 81, oh, that should be 15 squared, excuse me, equals 225. Okay. 64 plus 81 equals 225. And so in this case, We have, oh, I totally missed this one <laughs> because that's not coming out right. Okay, let's look at this. Sorry about that, guys. This distance here is 9, which means this distance here has to be 8. So let's try this again. So that now means that my hypotenuse is 17. So this is going to be 8 squared plus 15 squared equals 17 squared. There we go. Now that'll work out. So I've got 64 plus 225. And 17 squared is 289. And 225 plus 264 is 289. Okay, so that fits the Pythagorean theorem, which means that AB is perpendicular to BC, makes a 90 degree angle. So that makes BC a tangent. So Yes, BC is a tangent to circle A. Let's look at another example. Okay, this is kind of my, I like to call this the snow cone example, um, waffle cone example, whatever you would like to call it. If AB and AC are tangent to this circle, which they are, and I'm just going to give you that in the given, then AB is congruent to AC. 
AB is congruent to a, AC. And the theorem is, is if two tangents are drawn to the same exterior point, then they are congruent. Okay, so AB is congruent to AC. So let's look at an example. We could say that uh, this is x plus 15, and then this is 2x minus 5. Then I would ask you to solve for x. So we're going to take 2x minus 5, set it equal to x plus 15. A couple different ways you can do this. I'm going to add 5 and subtract x in the same step. That cancels that, that cancels that, and that leaves me with x equals 20. Now they might actually have you find the lengths. So if this is x equals 20, that's going to be 20 plus 15. So AB is 35. We know that AC is going to be 35, but let's just check it to make sure. 2 times 20 is going to be 40. 40 minus 5 does give me 35. So whether they ask for the length or just x, we can find it by setting them equal to each other. Okay, about six and a half minutes. That completes Chapter 10, Section 5, Tangents.